the CNC practical. During this entire video lecture, we will be having a look towards which are the different components in the CNC machine. We will compare that how does it differ from the conventional lathe machine. Apart from that, we will understand the working of CNC lathe machine as well as we will perform one job operation on this. So let us start with the different understanding of component. First of all, this is chuck part on which we can mount our object. Right now we are using a three jaw chuck which is very much similar to the particular lathe in conventional lathe machine which we are using. We are having a tool post on which we can mount a different different tools. Right now we are having four different tools in operation. This is our tailstock region. We can move this entire tool post with the help of this drive. In the conventional lathe machine we also know that we are having a handle over here by which we can move the entire work table. Right? But instead of that we are having a drive over here. How does this drive operate? This drive will get operated with the help of one part program. Right? About that also we will be having understanding. Apart from that we are having a lubrication facility as well. Right? We can have a spray of coolant with the help of which we can reduce the temperature at the workpiece area. Now this is actually the uh, hardware part, part of the CNC lathe. Now let us understand the basically controller about the CNC lathe. In the controller part, first of all we are having the emergency stop button. Right? Whenever we press this emergency stop button which is present over here, this will reflect light in this section. Then whenever we want to reset the software part, we need to press this PLC reset button. So an entire reset will happen. When the lubrication is kept on, it will indicate over here. We can keep the lubrication in on and off condition based on the part program. Next knob is called tube light on. Right now it is in on condition. Let us see what is happening. When we set to the off condition, it will just switch off this particular tube light area of the entire setup. When we made it to the on condition, it will just eliminate the light. Next is a CNC on button. Whenever you want to perform operation, this button must be pressed in on condition. Right now mains is on, that's why it is indicated with the help of this light. We can on and off this with the help of the key present over here. Next function is about spindle forward and spindle reverse direction. In the case of spindle forward, if we are giving the command, it will indicate light over here. If we are given the command for spindle reverse direction, it will indicate light over here. Next function is for lubrication on. Whenever we are keeping lubrication on, it will indicate over here. Whenever we are keeping coolant on, it will show over here. This two are for tripping. If any uh, misfunction happens, basically in X or Z direction, then it will indicate the error. We need to understand first of all what is X and what is Z. Here also we are having that provision of a setting plus x, setting minus x, setting plus z, setting minus z. As well as we are having one controller which is very handy. In this setup also we are having this provision of setting plus z, minus z, minus x, plus x. So we need to understand what this is actually indicating. For that we must know about access designation. Let us come back to the CNC lake and we will have an understanding how the axis get designated. Particularly in this setup, we are having only two axes, that is X and Z. How we are coming to that fact? For that, we need to understand our right hand thumb rule. First of all, we need to set our right hand in this position. We are having indication of X along the thumb. We are pointing Y with the help of index finger and we are pointing Z with the help of our middle finger. This is clear X, Y and Z. The next thing is we need to point Z axis towards spindle. So in the case of lathe machine, this is our spindle direction. So I am setting my Z axis towards spindle. Now once we are setting Z axis towards spindle, we can get the location of two other axes that is X and Y. So this direction, thumb direction is basically x direction and vertically up and down motion will become a y direction. So in the case of lathe machine we know that we are not uh, revolving or we are not uh, just uh, traveling the tool in the vertical up and down direction. 
So naturally the y axis will not come into the picture. We are having only two axes that is z axis as well as we are having x axis motion. Right. So whenever we are traveling our tool towards and away from the spindle, basically that direction will be called as a z axis. And whenever we are giving a depth of cut, we will traveling the tool inside towards the particular job area. Right, that direction will be called as a x axis. Initially, we need to set a zero conditions. For that, we will require this controller. We will physically touch the tool towards two different surfaces at this area and another at this area, and we find the zero condition. Right, that we will have an idea. Now. Let us understand the basic configuration of our hardware part. In this setup, we are having controller mounted at the bottom region, which appears like this. In this, we are having a normal CPU, as well as different controllers, which will help to make understand machine about the command which we are giving with the help of computer. In the upper section, we are having this particular monitor area which is uh, very much similar to our computer screen. Once we are pressing the CPU towards on condition, it will just start our PC. The remaining part, that is the software part, will be performed over here. This is our similar keyboard and mouse we are using, which we are using in the case, general case, right? Same window setup has been provided over here. So basically this is our normal window screen. What we need to do is, first of all we need to install any software which can understand the part programming language. Right now we are using cut your turn software. I am opening that software. Okay, so here let us understand the software layout first of all. On the leftmost section we are having a notepad kind of appearance, this particular region that is uh, nothing but it is notepad kind of appearance in which we can write the program. We can write the program over here with the help of keyboard and we can use mouse as well. Second region, here we will get the 2D view of our part drawing and in the bottom case we will get the 3D view. Let us understand how does it looks with the help of one example. We can store the program in this particular software also. There are a lot of programs stored in this particular software. Let me open any one of these. We are using Fano controller. Okay. This is a storage directory. I am opening one of the program which has already been stored with the name of Gopal12345. See, as I told, we are having program written over here. Right? We can write this program manually also with the help of keyboard. We are having a 2D appearance over here and 3D appearance at the bottom part. Now, first of all, we need to see the mode. We are having two modes over here, simulation mode and the machining mode. When we press simulation mode, it will not perform any physical operation. What it will do is, it will just show the process over this two region only. But when we change the modes from simulation mode to machining mode, it will really perform this part, or part program operation on the particular lathe machine. So let us see how does the simulation mode works. See once I press this green button it will show entire process operation right that how this tool is being operating and at the end it will show that program is executed successfully. So there is no error in our program. If program is having any error then it will indicate in between. I am pressing ok and with the help of this green and red line you can see the tool motion. But this particular entire operation is performed in one go. Let us understand in a stepwise procedure that how does this, it has been performed. Okay. So for that, let us press the step forward button. Once I press this, it is indicating the initial position of the tool. As well as it will indicate hyphen over here, right? So I can come to know that this particular part programming line is in operation. Then I am pressing step forward next button and the second function will come into picture. Tool is moving simultaneously, right? See, once I am pressing this, 
again and again you can see the tool motion right now this tool motion is as per the program which is been written this is called as a part program right so at the end we will get the entire wordpress ready but right now it is just indicating simulation but if i want a real operation i need to change the mode to the machining mode and then i need to go for the operation right in this way we can carry out the cnc lake operation now we will understand how to set the x0 and z0 condition for that we need to go to the jog mode once we select that jog mode the window appear like this in this we need to set the spindle to the clockwise direction first of all we can change the spindle speed from this knob also we can increase and decrease the spindle speed whenever we are setting x0 z0 condition we need to increase the feed rate otherwise it will take a longer time for tool to move towards the workpiece right once it is been set we need to reduce the feed rate because that will perform cutting operation but whenever we are setting x0 z0 condition we can increase the feed rate apart from that we need to after setting the particular tool we need to go towards this tool configuration we can select the different tool from the tool position here the main task is required to be performed we after, uh, after touching the job to the tool we need to set this x condition and z condition naturally towards this surface towards this main surface if it is touching the tool is touching that will be the x condition but naturally that is similar to the diameter of the tool so we need to set that x zero then we will touch this tool to particular this surface and it is we will set that z position also as zero right we can set that zero over here right once we will do that it will take that reference point as x0 z0 let us understand how we are doing that see now we are actually setting the tool we are physically making tool to touch to the workpiece we can move our tool in x and z direction for this we are using this joystick now when we are pressing this particular plus x see it is going towards the workpiece we need to touch our tool to the workpiece surface area right but we need to ensure also that tool is touching our workpiece area or not for that we are going to use the paper we will fix the paper in between if paper gets stuck we are ensured that tool is touching the workpiece area along with that in the particular screen we need to open tool position area once the tool will touch the workpiece area we need to set the position we need to set the z position here z zero should be indicated and x position will be the diameter of our tool now let us go back to the working setup see we are physically moving the tool tool is about to touch the workpiece area now we are fixing the paper we are fixing the paper in between workpiece and the tool well see still the paper is moving freely okay so what will happen we need to ensure that paper gets stuck between the workpiece and the tool region we are physically moving the tool till paper is moving now the paper is been stuck so what we are going to do is this is our z0 condition we are removing the paper the mark of tool is already been there in the paper so we ensure that paper has been touched by the tool now we will set z as 0 that will be treated as a reference point tool position z equal to 0 That's it. And x position is actually the diameter of our workpiece. Z position is zero. Now, when once we take our particular tool towards the spindle area, 
then it will be considered as a negative z direction. When we take our tool from this particular tool away from the workplace area, that will be a positive z direction. This surface is considered as z0 condition right now. Now we are already set the z0 condition. Now we are taking the tool back. Now what do we want is, we want to touch our tool surface to this particular area so that we can set the x condition. x value will be the diameter of our tool. So again we are taking tool back. For that we can use a joystick or any button which is present in the panel. The tool is coming backward. Okay. Now tool is at the backward position. We need to slide towards minus z axis. Minus z means it will move our tool towards the workplace, right? So it will be carried towards workplace. Now at any point we need to have a contact of workplace this surface with the tool so that we can set the x position. Again, we will fix the paper. Now we are pressing the positive z axis. And minus x axis. We need to press minus x button up till the paper gets stuck. Now the paper is stuck between the workplace and the tool. Now this is actually the diameter of our workplace area. The paper has been stuck so that we had ensured that the tool and workplace has been touched. And we are setting the x position which will be the value of diameter of our job. The diameter of job which we have taken right now is 40. So I am setting to the 40 position. Okay. That's it. How to set this x and z we had set the reference condition. Now we are understanding that how does this particular CNC machine works. We already set the x and z zero condition. Now as per our command of x and z which we are giving in the case of our program the tool is functioning. Right? We are not having any manual intervention in between. The drive is moving the tool. So in between we Now let us understand the BMC machine. It is very much similar to the CNC lathe which we had seen. But in this case we are using this machine for the milling operation. We are having a vertical spindle axis. But again the axis designation will be done with the help of right hand thumb rule. Which we had understand like this. That thumb is indicating x direction. Index finger is indicating y direction. And middle finger is indicating z direction. Then the logic says that 
we need to point the spindle towards z direction right so spindle is in vertical direction so i am pointing my this z towards vertical direction so i will get the two other axis designation that is about x and y which is x which is y that location i am getting and it is in, also indicated over here right now that x y plane can be moved with the help of this work table we are having different sensors as well as drives attached to it we are having a pulling systems the carbon light at the moment the moment is we are having one magazine also the magazine is actually used to mount the different different tools right now we are having a eight tool magazine now once we give a tool change command particularly the magazine will come over here it will remove the tool which is in operation at the empty space and the tool which we require and which we had mentioned in the part program will get fitted to the particular spindle right and then the rest of operation will be carried out coming to this hardware part the setup is similar to the cnc lathe we are having emergency stop power reset button plc reset tube light cnc on main on y trip x trip hydraulic power pack on lubrication on power reset and spindle forward direction that's what indication on the vmc panel apart from that as it is having three axis movement we are having a particular knob to set the positive x positive or negative x positive y negative y and positive z negative z motion setting button this we can also do with the help of handy controller also the remaining story will remain same in the case of vmc machines